Hello and welcome to Holdridge's Crusade. Today we are going to do some daily quests and then uh, maybe a little grinding towards the end. But uh, it's October 1st and uh, the daily's changed. So our first daily of the thing is a level 60. Uh, it's going to be Barn Dew. We just need to kill uh, five things. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, going to be interesting. I don't know. Jeez, what's just two of them right there? What? Uh, all right. Let's just grab that. Oh, God. That one's on us, too. All right. These hit hard. Uh, they're extremely difficult mobs in the sense that uh, they, these things are going to be a getting AoE down here. Anyway. All right. Uh, they hit hard. That's going to be kind of problematic. You can kind of see 351 for a uh, level 60 quest <laughs> like the stuff in Vexar didn't even hit that hard uh, so it's gonna be just a, a matter of burning these down I have AoE's on the druid going so she's uh, her spell is winter storm it's gonna be AoE and there was a there was another thing I don't know where it went but it must have gotten uh destroyed we're not fighting undead so we're kind of low low damage here but hopefully uh kill these and of course the, the mercenaries don't assist you know what kind of ideal world would that be all right a mangled brute hide i have no idea what that's for i think it's a vendor item uh i did take all the items we sold uh I, I, all the items we looted and sold them I, it was about 10k I just gave them 10k from what I had it was distributed across a lot of my different characters that I'm using to sell stuff so I think it's uh I feel like it's close enough I mean at this point I don't really not a big deal uh, but we're uh you know, we're gonna, it's not, not not enough. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Not enough money. Uh, it's gonna take. It's about a million, uh, a million plat, I believe, uh, to really like get all the spells and augs and stuff like you're gonna need for a single character. So, uh, I think going forward on any character I make, I'm literally just gonna give them a million plat, and that's that's their money. I don't want like I'm spending a lot of time farming gold and platinum and that is just overly tedious so i think i might even get rid of it on this series uh when we get into the spells are like 1500 platinum each you know it's just like why why am i gonna you know I'll, in the time that i farm that money i'm literally gonna level up you know i'm, I'm losing time against myself right so uh, so this is kind of like where I'm going to be going with that long term, but uh, well, uh, you know, it's, it's not even a big deal. I'm, I'm going to make some videos on where to make money and uh, stuff like that, like the ones I've already shown, like Plane of Hate is a good place. Um, let's see what's another one. Uh, <laughs> Hill Giants is fantastic on Ferona because no one's no one's there whenever i go no one's there so ah uh, it's great and then uh anything that drops plat it, it, like as we get higher level the things start dropping more and more money so it's not as a big deal all right let's just roll all this stuff out and i'll figure it out later i think that's literally what i usually do is i just destroy most of the junk that i have in my bag Come on, what? this bow is like terrible. Look at that. <laughs> like, I'm like, I put its asshole before it even lets me shoot it. So, but uh, after this, we're going to Bastion of Thunder. That's the other hot zone for uh, the current time, current month, which uh, to me is a really good one. Uh, like, I like that zone. And this is the higher level stuff, so we might we might even get up to like 65. My original plan was to do Plane of Fire uh, for this episode, but when I logged on, I noticed uh, the, the dailies were different. And I really am 
I'm not really interested in going to Plane of Fire. There's there's an item there that drops uh, from a named, but I don't know if I'll be able to kill the named that we could uh, theoretically use to be stronger. Uh, but I just don't think it's worth it because I want to I want to get to Arkstone because uh, there's a there's a weapon there we can use. Uh, an arc it's called the arc blade it's a uh, paladin weapon paladin shadow knight and it's way better than all this but i think we need about 65 to effectively kill those mobs and they are undead so uh if we can get to 65 i think that's where i'm gonna kind of end up going with these guys it's that path i have i have like a rough outline of where i want to go um throughout the next uh till till i think 75 is kind of whatever outlined because i want to see like we're going to do some missions and i want to see how well those missions go because like saying you know i want to do missions all the way to the end right is one thing but being able to complete missions until the end is a whole different story so oh my god these arrows suck I think these have like a five range or something like that. And uh, I don't even know why I made them. I'm gonna have to remake them. But we're kind of just killing everything we can here. Uh, I think when we hit 65, I'm gonna go, oh my God, he ran off, really? Uh, when we hit 65, we're gonna be doing a little side, side things that are not related to leveling. Uh, I'm going to try killing some raid mobs with these overpowered mercenaries and stuff like that from older raids. And uh, just, you know, try to have a little fun in a few videos, right? Like, you know, see if we can kill Nagafen with <laughs> these two overpowered mercenaries. I think we can without any issues, but uh, probably could have done it at 60. But I'm going to do it at 65 because I want to also do uh, Talondor. Uh, and all the Kunark dragons pretty much just kill everything uh, that is that is pre uh, Temple of Vishen. I think it's 70 we'll do Temple of Vishen and just do a whole clear through <laughs> I think we can do it no problem uh, it's at 70 there's just some some mobs that are a little difficult right and I want to be able to resist uh Resist as much of those uh, AoEs as I possibly can. Alright, go. But I don't even know if... I, I Like, I don't know it, what, how these guys are going to react. Like, I'm going to have to have the two... The Druid and the Enchanter in... In melee range so that... The, uh... Mercenaries are in melee range also because of the Bellycaster, but I don't know if Bellycaster even means anything to a mercenary, right? I don't know if that's a player restriction. Really? Come on. That is... Yeah. So when you make arrows, like I don't have, I can't, she can't show right now, but for the longest time, I didn't think you could actually see what an item was before you made it. And apparently you can just like right click on the, uh, recipe here. Let me show this because uh, this confused me for the longest time. All right. No, these are vendor arrows. Okay, I'm talking about the wrong character. <laughs> uh, my my gnome warrior is the one who crafts the arrows. These are store-bought arrows, but these are crap range, right? These are 25 range. It's the bow here that's 100 range. All right, so I, I got confused, but it's not a big deal. Uh, but you can right click on the uh, I think it's shift right click on the uh, the recipe in the trade skill thing and you can actually see <laughs> like what you're gonna make before you make it and I like in I don't know how long it's been I never knew that was a thing so that's kind of cool for me and I do a lot of trade skill stuff so that's a nice little thing I found Try and change this guy. All right, lost aggro. On him. Go. Yeah, I thought I was doing fletching with this guy for some reason too. But 
I'm not. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna change you. You out of here. Get rid of that junk. Uh, you're gonna go to Moonfire, I think. There we go. That way she is chain nuking. What are you doing? You're nuking too. All right, perfect. I want them doing damage. So I'm not finding a lot of the quest mobs right away, right? There are only very specific ones. Eviscerators, like there's one right there. Can I just pull my stun? And Nox, so this, this is the more generous uh, of all the quests you can get. This is the more generous one, I think, because uh, it's literally three different types of mobs. If that actually makes it over here. There we go, perfect. And we'll just get these guys chunking along on him. As long as it's like a single target, I seem to be holding aggro now, which is great. Like, uh, I don't know how long, for how long it was that we couldn't, you know, up until this point pretty much, we couldn't hold any kind of aggro on anything. And now it's kind of nice. And we're not taking a whole lot of damage either. So let's look around here. Uh, probably gonna have to kill. Let's grab both of these. Let's just do it. Oh my god, come on. We're going to town. Now these pets will die real quick, so I'm not concerned about those. But, uh... Is, uh, it's going to be a little bit of a battle here. Is she really going to stay out there? I mean, come on. It's like she's flexing how strong she is, right? right I'm just going to start chain casting on uh, one of the one of them with stuns. Yeah, and then we'll go for this one. There we go. That should work out. She, I think she literally switched targets from the one I was attacking to the other one. Like, that is so weird. All right, she's still casting on this one, but it's weird how they're so disjointed in like what they do. Like that one's attacking that one and this one's attacking this one. It just doesn't make sense. But they're like god mode, so whatever. Alright, we don't want the consigned by the Shishar. That is for rogues. Uh, we'll take the summoner bag. I think I can sell that for a few platinum. Alright, what do we got in here? Nothing? Tell me that's an eviscerator. Oh my gosh. That's a war fiend. That's a spirit bird. All right. Oh my gosh, the stun. Not having uh, super speed sucks too. Uh, looks like we got another ad. These don't even do any damage. Like I, I guess I was worried about nothing. Uh, I remember when I came here, the very first time I came to these, like it was a lot of damage, but now it seems not a whole lot of damage. Uh, for this expansion. Maybe they nerfed something, or it's just the Defiant Armor has uh, overcome plus my level at this point. Because they're, I mean, they're hitting for like 200, which is nothing. Absolutely nothing. There we go. Oh my gosh. And then like, they're attacking that one. I'd probably hold aggro on those if, I, like, they didn't attack them, so it's kind of just, like, weird. Alright, we need two more, but probably gonna have to wait for a respawn. T 
leafy leaves. I think those are valuable. Let me check. That's gonna be my bag. Let's roll those out. What is the bloody signet? Oh, that's a uh, Holdridge item. I love the Augs. I'm just, I don't have enough good, good stuff to put the Augs in. Uh, there is a Oonkin right there. A bone, bone retriever. Let's grab. Grab him. And yeah, we just need one of those. That works perfectly. Oh, is there two of them? Oh no, we got a spirit brute on us also, so unfortunate. I wish the, the pets counted, right? Now watch, I'm gonna try to mez that uh, that spirit guy, right? Let's see if that actually happens. So uh, he's mezzed. And then she she assisted properly. So if I do the work instead of being lazy, uh, they'll show the cooperate a little bit more. And I'll uh, just leave that on corpse. Leave that on corpse. Half the game is managing the loot. <laughs> I guess that's just how it is in most of these. Point nine, point one, point two. All right, let's see if we can find anything over here. One second. So at some point, we got, or is it? <laughs> we got a mount at some point. There's Valiant Steed. It's like Holy Steed, I think. Yeah. This will make us run just a little bit faster. There we go, we get a Holy Steed Bridle. Uh, we don't need this on our bar anymore, but we can go to our key ring. Mounts, drop that in there. I don't think it gives any stats, but yeah, it doesn't have any stats. But we can take this, put this on our bar here. And it he's insta-mount, right? So he kind of runs a little bit faster, right? A little bit, not really anything too much. All right, there's an eviscerator. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's why I don't usually mount. Uh, they're so, uh, so wonky. All right, can I break that? All right, so we, we did get a respawn that is one of the ones we need. So we're going to have two of them uh, in camp at the same time. So it's fine. go. Let's get Yelp. But we can hold aggro on one, which is nice. But uh, this one, this quest here is done. We should get about 15, I think, percent for this one, right? Let's see. I think it's going to be 15 anyway. 12. Alright, that's not fun. Alright, so we have the cloak. We need the shoulders. Uh, uh, intricate cauldrons. I'll deal with the other characters later. I just want to clear that off my screen. All right, so we are now ready to go back to Plane of Knowledge and head to uh, Bastion of Thunder. So I'm going to do that. Alrighty, we're here in Bastion of Thunder, one of my favorite Planes of Power Zones. And what we need to do is we need to kill Van uh, Brand Kriegers. And Brand Kriegers, uh, I don't think these are brands, are they? Can't remember which ones they are. So someone's already killing everything here. Ah, there they go. So brands are up this way. So this is the way we're going to go. And uh, kind of just make our way through here. Uh, let's see here, that's a Millis. So let me look at the map here. Uh, 
can't remember exactly which way to go, but let's just do it. So, jeez, that one summoned me without even uh, anything. So I don't believe these are mesable, and uh, that's going to be, you know, problematic. Uh, we might be able to pick up a uh, one to dire term. Well, let me try mezzing it and see. Eh, I guess they do work. No, never mind. I guess she's gonna just keep nuking it no matter what. Yeah, he's mezzed, so... There we go. Now let's go ahead and get some nukes on this guy here, knock him down. And we'll just make our way pretty much through this uh, area here. Uh, let's roll that. Never want those. I think I'll do those quests. Maybe one day I'll do videos on uh, planes of power progression, but <laughs> it's so tedious that I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> like, it's just so much work. It'd be like 25 videos. Well, yeah, I, the way I break everything up. All right, we're going to keep going through here and just kind of kill everything. That other guy mezzed. Stupid NPC keeps breaking it. There we go. He's mezzed. See, if they assisted, this wouldn't be a problem because I wouldn't have to worry about this nonsense, but here we are. Go. There we go. Finally. Get my Knight's Dark Terror on, which will give us a few more procs. Um, it's a nice buff from the. Uh, yeah, it gives us life drain and a attack. Nice little thing from the Enchanter we can uh, use. And we'll just keep uh, going through here. So 1.65 is not a shabby number at this point in the game. Uh, we might be able to yield a little bit more if we we're like burning a lesson and stuff like that, but I'm not concerned too much. Oh, come on, really? Let's see if we can get that guy mazed. Yeah, of course. Break the maze after it's mazed. Alright, I don't think we're just we're just gonna fight things. Let them tank it. I don't it's too much too much annoyance for me. <laughs> I don't know, they're just... Uh, I, it might be because I have them on burn AoE too, so, you know. That's a big thing. But might as well, I mean, they already got it to half. And they're not taking any damage, right? Go. 1.4 for that guy, he was a little lower level though. Perfect. And this, these are even cons, jeez. Alright, and... Alright, we're going for a named, I guess. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Put you on burn. I'm gonna start trying to mess those. That one. That one's messed. There we go. 
Theoretically, those are mezzed. I mean, this name is not even, like, causing any kind of issues to us. But might as well. Go. What did we get here? Earring of Thunder. Cleric Druid Shaman. Uh, all character casters. This is gonna go straight to the Druid because, uh... There's no intelligence on that, so... Alright, we finally got our first, uh... Our first, uh... What you call it? I'm not even gonna bother looting those. This is a slight profit we could make by turning those in, but it's just too much work for me. Uh, you can turn those spells in and then sell them back to the vendor. But uh, it's, it's work that I don't really care to do. And... Oh gosh, she's got a whole bag of stuff we can sell. That's nice. And... Oh, she automatically put that on perfect. Didn't even know she had stuff on her. Thanks. That might, that might yield us a little bit of money. Uh, perfect. There we go. An orb of electricity. Uh, that is a vendor item. Take a look at the map of Rooney here. If we go this way. Yeah, we need to go up the stairs right there. So the the, the concept is what we're doing is we're fighting through the lower tier. Uh, we're going to go into the higher tier where the brands are. Uh, so it's like the fire realm up there. Lightning down here, fire up there. And then uh, we'll just go up there and grind out the five Kriegers and whatever else we need to do. Maybe stay up there for a little while. Let's see if we can get new levels. Alright, uh, I think it's up this way. Come on. I think that fire elemental is the uh, dire charm that you can get here. Go. Gonna kill that one before I kill this one, I bet. Even with uh, AoE off, they still broke the Mez. So. Oh, this one's level 60, never mind. Has to be 46 for Dire Charm. I know there's like an earth elemental model over on the other side that you can do it with, but... I don't know where it is here. There we go. This just melt and they do like no damage, right? Like, it hit for 420, but I mean, I don't even didn't even notice it. Yeah, we don't have any higher level buffs either, like so. That's nice. We need to go in that back corner over there to hit the teleporter. Come on. A nuke and nuke. We're gonna have to change the specialization on the druid at some point. I believe she's become uh, a vocation specialized. Since I don't think she's cast a single heal this whole entire time. There we go. 
go. All right, so now we need to go into air, ice, fire. So fire is this way. Might as well. <laughs> I, th I don't know if these are any good experience. Let's see. Uh, 1.2 on that last one. Okay. Really? Alright. This is going to be fun. like a tank. Look at this. Healing wave of Praxis. Oh yeah. Hate me more. <laughs> oh man. I think I got them both so it's working out really well here. The Enchanter and the Druid are like out of mana so how much I can do with that. Let's put you guys back on burn AoE because you just do whatever the hell you want anyway, so might as well do whatever the hell you want. Hopefully my complaints will get uh get heard and they'll make uh make this dumb mercenary assist the main thing. That would be fantastic. Be like a dream almost. There we go. We got two of them on us. I can't, I cannot pull that one. Like every time I nuke it, I get a little bit aggro back, but whatever she's doing to it is just crazy. And these are level like 63, so she's probably going to aggro the other two on the other side of the room too. I didn't aggro these, the mercenary did, so. Let these down hit hard. We're doing really well, actually. Guess we're not losing aggro on that one. Right. Tungsten ore. I'll go ahead and. Do I think my wedding ring is made out of tungsten. The neg the bad thing would be if someone is already up here because there's not no lot there's not a lot of mobs in this area, right? And these are yellow, so these may be actually hard. Let's go to Tash out him. Go to slow. And yeah, they they hit slightly higher, six hundred. But as a paladin, we are strong. <laughs> that dumbass run up the stairs. I mean, come on now. Come on now. Get a little closer here. So I'm going to have to do some research on a uh, cheap mount. Um, I think they're like 10k. I don't want to spend 10 10,000 platinum on each of them for a mount, so I might just claim. Uh, where is it here? I might just claim this house of Thule one. 
Oh, over here, the verdant hedgerow leaf. I might just do that and call it a day. It, g it only gives like 200 HP or something like that. It's not like the uh, current expansion wants to give like 5,000 HP and 1,000 mana regen or something like that. So it's not going to be a huge difference. All things considered, so... Intricate Defiant Hand Wraps. I remember how long I was trying to get a hold of a pair of those. Alright, we're gonna go for this one. He's right here. And we got the name right up there. Perfect. But, uh, that's probably gonna be the direction we go and just do that mount. If I can't find it. A different mount that's not 10,000 platinum or more. Like I don't want to. I don't want to blow platinum on throwaway mounts. <laughs> uh, it's just not worth my time. Okay. Oh, I'm starting to run low on mana. I do have tranquility on. But these things have a significant amount of hit points. Now the uh, mercenaries are actually slowing down a little bit. As long as they assist, you know. Can I sit them? Perfect. Try to park them right there. I know, go pull this other room. A lightning sphere, don't want. All right, what are we looking at in here? We got one, two, and a three. Ugh. Calm, we got pacify, but pacify is not gonna do anything to these guys. Um, let's see here, what do you got? Pacification. There we go, that sounds more interesting. Up to 65, okay. We're 64, so I can pacify you. You're 63, I can pacify you. I can run back down here. And I can plink an arrow at you. Can I mess that one? Oh my god, Jesus. Oh my god. Really? Of all the places to go try to be melee range, you went there. Alright. Solo the name. I don't care. She's already got it at 74%. Oh my gosh. Multiple times for them to like, do something. You know? It's almost a joke, right? I feel like I'm being trolled by these things. And then the priest obviously is going to join in, because why not? Uh, where is he at? Let them just fight. That's this thing. Sleep? What does sleep go up to? 65? Is she nuking it while I'm trying to mess it? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> she went, she switched targets to go fight the other one. This is just ridiculous. I feel like that thing's gonna heal it, or heal this one, so. But I, I dropped two messes on it and nothing, so. Here, let's sit, sit them down. Let them get a little mana while we sit in for the world's longest fight here. Luckily, the like the healer mercenary is, you know, still god mode at this level, so uh, she won't run out of mana no matter what. But, I mean, you saw me. I tried messing it. I tried. She switched targets to just literally spite me. 
Like, like, why would you, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you even, why, what kind of AI is on these things? I mean, look at this. She's already gotten it down to 25%, 21%. I mean, I haven't done a single thing to that other one. Like, it's, it's almost comical that one mercenary over there doing its own thing is soloing the named. Faster than I can solo for this thing. Alright, we got a little mana left. Come on, burn him down. Summoned me? Of course he did. Alright, we'll go up here. Where's the enchanter? Let's get up here too. Oh, does he not even have real loot? I mean, come on now. A ranged item? I will send that to her. Maybe it's an upgrade. I don't know. I have no idea, but she has an arranged. Go. <laughs> Jeez. It's just the sound is kind of annoying. Hopefully I remember to lower that pretty good. I'll lower that by like five gain, just so we don't hear the game sounds as much. But it's pretty loud. At least for me. There we go. Lost my illusion. Uh, that's good. I mean, we're hitting for like 175, so that's not terrible. Just takes a little longer to kill things. I am going to have to work on the druid's conjuration so that she can uh, dot mobs now. And her dots are finally like better than the than the nukes for the most part. And so we're going to want to kind of do that. I'm losing Ward of Night. Is this the undead one? Yeah, this is the undead one, so. How much we can do about that, anyway. Yeah, run around. Aggro more, please. Please do. I mean. Please aggro everything. I mean, these have way too many points for, uh, for us, <laughs> for this group. Uh, we would probably want to go do Undead, uh, honestly. It might be worth trying to go to Arkstone now-ish. Maybe at 64? I guess, gonna be, you know, I think that might be, might be worth trying. Maybe different zone. These just have a lot of hit points, so it doesn't help that these mercenaries are literally not focusing on one mob. But I think what I'll do is uh, I'm not ending, yeah, ending the episode or anything, but I am going to go ahead and claim the House of Thule Collector's Edition mounts for each of, each of these guys. Uh, so they have mounts, so I can kind of regen stuff faster. Oh, that is nice. Uh, Holdridge gets the molar. And uh, I think that'll help us out with uh, being able to keep them mounted. Because, like, right now, like, the Enchanter's out of mana and the Druid's about to be out of mana. And then that's just going to slow us down. So, fine. And I think what I'm also going to do is just give them all three of them a million plat. And I'm not going to waste my time farming hill, hill giants and other junk anymore. I'll make videos on some farming locations for people who don't have access to it, but I, it's just taking too much of my time to farm them platinum to buy spells. 
and I'm trying to do a lot of things at once. And uh, so I think that that's fine. I won't buy anything but spells though. Like it'll still be self-found in the in that regard. Like spells, I just find it's just not worth my time to try and go through all these old zones to farm enough mobs and stuff like that. It just really creates a dis disruption if there's like somebody else that comes in the zone, right? And I'm killing all the hill giants. <laughs> you know, it's just crazy. And we'll just sell all the junk we get and go from there. But I'll just give them all a million plat. That's enough to get them all the way to 120 and buy all their spells. Uh, should be more than enough, and then the leftover money can be used for buying uh, armor, armor things at uh, 120. The uh, armor, the tier one auras and stuff. There we go. But I mean, this is pretty good. I mean, we should hit 64 here pretty soon. We might hit 64 just from finishing the daily. I just realized we're like one off of that. But we're like completely out of mana, so. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of, you know, I think so, uh, Arkstone is probably going to be where we want to go and get from 64 to 65, but not 100% sure, so. I might, I might teleport there, check it out. And if it's viable, you know, we'll do a, do some leveling there. But if it's not, I'm not going to waste my time. I'll maybe go to Plane of Fire. I've been trying to avoid Plane of Fire because that's where I'm going to send Boomer Guard and uh, his group to Plane of Fire. So I'm trying to avoid it, even though it, it is like literally the best thing to go to. I'm gonna have to find a, maybe an undead equivalent. But there isn't really. <laughs> like, that's the downside. There isn't really an undead equivalent to most of these zones. Go. Enchanter and the Druid are completely out of mana. Ah, we got some. We got at least a, you know, at least one gear upgrade with the uh, intricate shoulders. I think that gives us full intricate now. Uh, yeah, we didn't we didn't put those on yet, so that's pretty nice. Uh, buying the intricate jewelry would be uh, f fantastic, right? That's uh, but it's like ten thousand platinum just to get all the intricate jewelry, and that shit is great. I upgraded the Boomer Guard guys up to that, and uh, it's very good, <laughs> very good for them. All right, can you guys sit without getting attacked? There you go, Meadow. Oh, uh, this priest is healing, so like, I mean, I'm out of mana, so I can't really stun it or anything. And I don't know where Tweedledee and Tweedledum are, but the, I guess they're nuking still. They're just terrible. Get as much stuns as I can, but I don't think I can stun anything this level with what I currently have. And I'm, I'm doing such little DPS. I could probably switch to two hand and do a little bit more, but I lose out. I think I have improved rash, right? So I should be able to stun with the two hand. But it's not really that much difference in my DPS since that mace is so good. There we go. And we killed the Krager. Alright. 
Alright, let's see if we can get some more damage on this. And this should be the last Krieger. Boom! 64, 64. Did you get 64? You got 64 too. Alright. What do we get at 64? Right, we got a second here. Um, go ahead and take the belt. Uh, Eminence, spell resistance, planar power, combat agility, combat fury, combat stability, finishing blow, divine stun, three. Divine stun. That's 73. Yeah, we already have that in our thing. So what did that change? Uh, pushes your target backwards up to level 70. All right. Nice. Um, so 64 is where we hit. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Never mind. Kill this guy real quick. Um, let's just take the cloak. Give circle of knowledge bimped. All right, let's get this guy. He's gonna die real quick. He's, uh, level 60. So, definite, uh, upgrade there. I think I have to go buy spell. No, I have spells on me. Perfect. I think I have Elder up to 65. So, yeah, that's what I'll do in between. Uh, now on the next episode, let's go ahead and port to Plane of Knowledge. Uh, we will... <laughs> we will... Uh, I'm going to just get rid of the whole Platinum thing, and their spells will be taken care of. Uh, there's nothing else I want to buy with Platinum throughout the game. Uh, we're going to then also do the Mount... Uh, from House of Thule, just give them that so they have a mount. I don't. I, I think the the other mounts are from raid bosses, like uh, Saru, uh, maybe the Emperor of the Snake People. I'm just gonna do that. Like it's just like small things that are just slowing down my progress in making uh, making the videos. Right, so nothing too major there. Let's see if we can get everybody out of the way there we go but uh so that's what we'll do uh and then next, 65 we'll try arcstone i think next uh and see how that goes i think we should be able to do it based on our performance there but they are they're a little bit higher i think they're level 68 mobs so they might be red to us still and cause issue but they're undead so i should be able to hit them pretty hard uh and just kill them so we'll see how that goes. But uh, there we go. Some uh, new dailies for the new month. Uh, hopefully that will be the last time we have to do those. Because uh, there's no need for us to get the intricate stuff anymore. But it's hard to say, I don't want you 14% experience, right? <laughs> like It's hard to say no to that. So it is what it is there. But thank you very much for watching. And please have a fantastic day.